In this Anking video, I'm going to show you how to get started with my Anking overhaul deck. And uh, this video is going to show you how to get started as well as how to update to future updates. So when you're updating from the original decks, this could be that you're starting brand new or you're starting with the Zonki deck already that you've been working on, you can preserve your scheduling. First, you need to put everything in an Anking head deck. Now in a second, I'm gonna walk through this entire process. I'm just trying to summarize it for you so you can see it all together. Second, you're going to convert all cards to the new card type that I have. This is brand new. It's going to be only one card type and make everything much easier. Then there's an optional step here. You can export cards with tags if you have tags that you want to save. If you don't have any of your own personal tags you want to save, you skip that and go to step three where we are going to import the Anking deck into a new profile and make it newer. I'll show you how to do that and then we'll export it. Step four will be setting up the special fields add-on to preserve your own personal edits. Step five, you import the new update into the original profile and that should update. And then the optional step here, uh, if you want to merge those tags in that we previously exported. And last but not least, you can import the Pepper decks, the Ultra Zonky decks to fill in the images that I've used. Uh, again, use these legally. You should have purchased the resources that the images come from to be legally using them. For future updates, you're going to essentially follow the exact same process, but step two you won't have to do because your cards will already be the Anking Master card type, but everything else you will want to do. So that's simple and easy. Uh, recommended add-ons. If you're using this deck, I strongly recommend, in fact, you really need the hierarchical tags add-on, or I strongly recommend the better tags add-on from Glutanimate. You need to be a Patreon of his, but it's very useful, and you'll see why later in this video. The hint hotkeys is very useful, as I use many hints in this card type. Clickable tags, you can click the tags on this card type, as well as edit the fields during review, and you need these add-ons for that. I've also got an entire playlist on add-ons that I recommend or other add-ons that are additional. I actually use all of them and I would recommend that you watch both those playlists and get all of those add-ons. Okay, I'm gonna show you the most important part, how to update here. Uh, first things first, you need to understand how to use the deck and I've made another video on how to use that. I highly recommend you do that. But crucial to this process that I'm about to show you is this video explaining the special fields add-on and how updating works. I strongly recommend you watch it so that you understand how this is working and uh, that way you'll, you'll be able to tweak it for your own needs. Now in this uh, Reddit post, this is actually a draft, I haven't posted it yet, but I'm going to link those videos and I'm also going to link the decks that are involved and uh, as I'm talking about in just a second. So if you are questioning where you should go watch the videos or find the links to the decks, look in the description of this video. I'm going to link this Reddit post. Everything is right there. So first things first, here's our deck. Now this could be a deck that you've already been doing. This could be a deck that you are downloading to start with brand new. Whatever it is, you need at least the Zonky Step decks and the LOL Not A Cop. I highly recommend a Blue Galaxy version or a spin-off of that. Uh, basically anything will work as long as it is not Ultra Zonky because they duplicated their deck. So uh, one thing that's important, the uh, Zonky Farm deck is in here. Sometimes people put it in there, and I put it in there intentionally so that I can show you. You need to drag it out to the top so that it is a separate deck. Now, a lot of people uh, move cards into the combined review. If I go here, you can just see I've got lots of different cards from lots of different decks in, in Zonki. A lot of people do this because of Med Shamim's method. Uh, I personally don't recommend that, but if you have been doing that, what I'm going to show you is that it doesn't matter. You can still update every card, uh, and I'm, I've tried to make this, this much easier. The first step I would recommend is to do Create Deck and make a deck called Onking. This will save you a lot of pain and harm later. Uh, in case some cards get added, and that way you won't have to go and manually fix a lot of things. So drag everything into that main deck, Onking. It should look like this, so you just have one deck with every card that is a Zonky deck. Now, even if this combined review deck has cards that you made yourself, that doesn't matter. You just put them all in here just like this. That is the first step. Now the second step is to convert them all to the Onking Master card type. Uh, as I said before, the Reddit post will have a link to this, so uh, you are going to download this card type. It's going to add the file, and it puts it in here, just so you know. But uh, what you're going to do, you can actually delete this when you're done if you want. You're going to go to Note Types, 
and there's lots of different note types. This is the one that we want. Now I have set this up in such that I can show you, it doesn't matter where you are in the process, you can update to this. So if you are already using an Onking overhaul deck with the Onking Med and Onking sketchy note types, I'll show you how you update those specifically. If you're not, if you're starting brand new, you can convert with all of these ones. Now, it's important that you just click on the note types here on the sidebar. Uh, you, you can't just go into the deck and select all and change note type. I'll show you in a sec. It's going a little slow. Um, if I click change note types, it gets mad at me. So you have to only pick one note type at a time, and that's why you do that. So first things first, go here to close. Now uh, This close multiple is its own note type. They're actually really stupid cards, and I converted them into a close card in my deck. So you can actually delete those if you want. But uh, all the rest of these need to be converted into Onking Master. So I'm going to select all of these, change the note type to Onking Master and make sure that everything lines up. So it should be close to close, text to text, extra to extra. And you're gonna go through and do this on all of the note types that you have. And like I said before, if there are some note types that uh, are your personal cards or whatever, if you wanna try and separate them out, that's fine. Uh, it doesn't matter if you convert your note types to the Onking Master, it will have absolutely zero effect. So I'm just doing this to uh, it'll go a little bit slower, but I want you to be able to see exactly how I'm doing this. Uh, sometimes this will take a little longer. That was a lot of notes in that one. It's the, most of the Zonky deck. Uh, these sometimes in the original decks have note IDs and stuff. I personally don't use those, so I just make them nothing. For reference, the first four fields here, this is the closed notes. The first four hint fields are your fields to do whatever you want with. The last four fields, I'm going to update. So you could convert them to one of these if you wanted, but I'm going to convert them to nothing. They actually don't have anything in them, I don't think. And turn that to nothing. Now, if you're using the Onking Med in Sketchy, this is important. So I'm going to select all there. You need to make sure everything lines up appropriately. It should be text to text, extra, lecture, lecture, RX to U world. I renamed it as Miss Questions because that's kind of what it was intended for, uh, just so you know and everything else lines up, so I'm going to hit OK. Now, it doesn't line up with the On King Sketchy, just so you know. You actually need to go in and change this. Full Sketch, we're going to change to Sketchy, and First Aid, we're going to change to First Aid. You need to make sure everything lines up, or you're going to have some problems. So, there we go, and I still have a couple more that I need to change. And once all of this is done, we will move on to the next step where you can. Well, this is an optional step where you can export uh, the tags that you have. All right, last one there. So everything is updated. So now if we look here, we've got 29,000 cards and 29, uh oh, we are miss. Oh, it's these ones that are missing. Okay, so we have everything. Now here's my tag that I added. I actually go to the University of Utah, but I love the Ohio State. Uh, go Buckeyes. So let's say I wanted to save this tag for my university. I'm going to click on the tag. I'm going to select all of these notes and edit, and I am going to export selection. You actually need an add-on for this. I will link the add-on in the description of this video, but you can export the selection. So I'm going to export. You would, doesn't matter if you have either of these. I'm just going to export without it because it makes it a lot easier. And you export that. So I'm not actually going to export it uh, because I'm not going to show you the next optional step. I will show you where it is, but this video here on the special fields add-on shows you how after you are finished with this process, you can re-import them with just this one tag. Uh, it's just very important that you realize exporting those needs to happen after the conversion of the note type. So once we've converted everything to the note type, the, the problem is that we've made this deck newer by importing the note type. So if we were to import the V4 update, it actually wouldn't do anything because this deck is king right now. So we need to switch profiles. And I've already loaded the deck in here. If you were to just open this, uh, it would open like this. So you're just gonna open it into a brand new profile. Then I'm going to go to the browser and you can do multiple different things if you want. You can uh, go to the deck or the whole collection. You wanna select all cards and it goes a little bit slow because there are a lot of cards and you're going to hit add tag and you can add a tag and that will edit all of them or you can go in here and change the note type to the same note type so i'm just going to select them all and i'm going to change the note type i find it goes a little bit faster than adding the tag because you have to add the tag and then remove it unless you really want a tag on every single one of your cards 
Oh, did that wrong. You want to make sure we do this. Like I said, there's these closed multiple cards that uh, get in the way. They're really worthless, but I leave them in there just for the sake of updating the tags so that your tags are a lot cleaner. So I'm going to change note type. And I'm going to change it to exactly the same card. And that will update it. It will make Anki see that it is a newer deck. Uh, once again, just to be careful, go through here, make sure that everything is as it should be, and click Updated. And it will do this one selected thing, but uh, as long as you selected all of them before, it, it does update all of them. Now, if you're updating for the first time, I have updated the tags on this closed multiple note type, so I would recommend uh, changing it to its own note type so that it will be newer as well, so that the tags will update in your deck. Uh, and this basic card that is in here doesn't update no matter what I do, and it's worthless anyway, so you can just forget about it. So once I'm finished with that, I'm going to export this deck. This is very important. You need to export it, uh, and you will not want you want to uncheck this, and you will want to include the media uh, just to save time because it exports faster without. I'm going to export without, and we'll go there. And I'm just going to overwrite over this file just for the sake of saving space on my computer and for ease. Now the next thing you want to do is before you import into this next profile. Unless you are starting brand new, you're going to want to set up the special fields add-on. Now, like I said before, there are four fields here now, and these were on the previous fields, and then there's these four fields. These ones are my fields. These I'm going to try and update over time. These ones, you can put whatever you want in there. I'm never going to update them, so you can protect those fields. So we're going to go to Tools, Add-ons, and Special Fields. If you have not downloaded this recently, I highly recommend you do because it was updated fairly recently. So I'm going to Toggle Enabled. I'm going to View Files. Go into this file here. And you're going to edit this part here, Special Field. Uh, watch the video on this if you haven't already because it will make this a lot more clear. But I'm going to protect these fields. Lecture Notes, Missed Questions, Boards and Beyond, and Pathoma. There may be some of you who have been editing your extra section or your text section, and I would recommend that you protect those. It, uh, I have not added significant updates to those portions, and you probably would be better off to keep your fields. And then set combine tagging to false, and then uh, you don't want to combine the tags, you want to update them. So after doing that, we're going to restart Anki because you need the add-on to take effect. Go back into my demo here. Oops, that is the update. That is not the one we want to be in. Go back to the original deck. This is your decks where we are. And the, what we are going to do now is import this deck that we had just previously exported from the other profile. And what's going to happen is it's going to update all the cards, except for that one uh, basic card type on cranial nerves that just for whatever reason has a mind of its own and doesn't want to update. But other than that, everything should update. Uh, like I said here, notes that could not be updated, one. And if you look really here where it says skips, it's the neurology cranial nerves thing, so just ignore that. But everything else should update because it is only one card type, and this update is 10 times easier than what I'd done before. I apologize for the confusion, but I, uh, I'm learning Anki as well. And uh, there are some cards that I have added to the deck, so that looks good. And now when you go into your deck, you'll be able to see the changes, but here there are lots and lots of tags. The problem with that is you need to go notes, and then clear unused tags. And when you do that, it will clear everything and it will look 10 times better. You'll have all the tags here that I have been adding all along. Watch the other video, this one, the Onking Deck How to Use It video, to learn how to use these tags. Now at this point, this is where you could import the tags from that Ohio, the Ohio State tag. You could import that following the instructions that are kind of at the end of this special fields video. This is now the point where you would do that. Now, the next step, uh, as you can see, my deck does not have any images in it, and that's uh, mostly because I can't share, show the images on YouTube uh, for copyright violations. But if you do want the images, your Zonki decks would have already had them had you downloaded them online. Uh, but I have also been pulling images from the Pepper decks and from the Ultra Zonki deck. This update is heavy on the Ultra Zonki, and I'll just warn you, this is like a 2 gigabyte file, um, is what it is. But what you're going to do is import the three of these, and I'm only going to do one for the sake of time, but you're going to import all of them, 
And as soon as you get them imported, you can just delete them. You don't actually need the cards, but by importing them, if we go to tools, check media, uh, it actually imported all of the media. So this deck actually had zero image files in it prior to importing this just a second ago, but now you can see there's tons of media in here. and All of this unused media is from that pepper deck uh, because I didn't use all the images, I only used some of them. So that's how you update to the deck. And uh, hopefully that makes a lot more sense. If you get confused, read the Reddit post and watch these other videos. I will put as many things as I can in here. I will also put in common problems and troubleshooting that people are having. So please read this post. If you want to send me a personal message or an email to ask about this, that is absolutely fine. However, please, please, please watch these videos that I have linked here first. And after you have watched those videos, if you still don't understand, then feel free to reach out to me. Uh, hopefully you like the deck, and I really hope it helps in your medical school studies. Best of luck. Thanks for learning with the Onking. Be sure to subscribe to our channel as well as follow us on Instagram and Facebook for daily tips and tricks at Onking Med. Also, here's the email if you have any questions or suggestions for new videos.